solving special systems. So in this video, we're going to talk about systems of equations that have uh, something weird going on with them. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do the same process as we learned in the previous video. Um, and we're going to just see what happens. Okay, so the first step, as usual, is we need to get it in slope intercept form. I need it to be y equals mx plus b. So take a look at this number, this one over here. Is this in slope intercept form? Is the y alone? La y esta sola? Nope, I need to fix it. And then what about the second one? Is this in slope intercept form? Is the y alone? La y esta sola? Yes, this one's good. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this one. So 3x plus y equals 6. I want the y alone. So don't move the y, I'm gonna move the 3x. This is positive, the opposite is negative, so minus 3x, copy minus 3x. Three minus three is zero, it cancels, and I'm gonna copy down y equals. Here there's x, here no, so they're different, different letters, copy. And I just need to switch because I want that x in the middle. So y equals, this is negative 3x, and this is a positive 6, so plus 6. So remember, this is a positive 6, this is a negative 3x, and we switch. I'm going to put the new one here. And this one is good the way it is. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. Okay, number 2. I'm going to put them equal to each other. I'm going to put them equal, so not with the y. So I'm just going to go ahead and do negative 3x plus 6 equals negative 3x plus 2. And I'm going to go ahead and move one of the x's. I have two x's. I will move the one on the right. This is minus. The opposite is plus, so plus 3x. Copy plus 3x. This is x, I will put it with x, x with x. Negative three plus three cancels, so copy down six equals, and negative three plus three cancels, so they're both zero. This is zero and this is zero, cancel. Copy down two, no more letter. There's no more letter, so I need to stop here. Pare aquí porque no, no hay más letras. So now I'm just going to see if it's true or false. Voy a ver si es verdad o falso. 6 is equal to 2. 6 is igual a 2. Is that true or false? False. If your answer is false, si la respuesta es falso, your answer is no solution. So this is your final answer. La respuesta final. No solution. Okay, so basically it's going to be kind of like similar like this when you get that. Okay, example two. Same thing. Okay, so our first step is we're going to do slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So here is this in y equals mx plus b form. Yes, the y is alone. What about this one? Is this one in slope intercept form? No, I need to fix it. So let's go ahead and fix that here. So 2x minus y minus 4 equals 0. I want the y alone. So I have two things that I need to move. Let's. It doesn't matter which one you move first. No importa cuál mueve primero, but don't move the y, pero no mueve el y. I'm going to go ahead and move the letter first. Voy a mover la letra primera, the x. This is positive 2x. The opposite is negative 2x. So minus 2x. Copy minus 2x. 2 minus 2 is 0. Cancel. Copy negative y. And copy minus 4 equals 0 minus 2x. 0 cancels out. It's just minus 2x. I want the y alone. Quiero la y sola. Don't move y. No mueve la y. We're going to move the minus 4. So the opposite of minus is plus 4. Copy plus 4. This is 0. Cancel. Copy down negative y equals 
Here there's X, here no. They are different letters, not like terms. So copy negative 2X plus 4. I'm still not done. Todavía no estoy terminada. I have a minus with the Y. Tengo menos con Y. It's not alone yet. Todavía no, es, no está sola. So if there's no number, si no hay número, it's a 1. This is negative 1. Es negativo 1. So if there's no sign in the middle, si no hay signo en el medio, it's multiply. And the opposite is divide. So divide, negative 1. And each one, cada una, divide, negative 1. Divide, negative 1. I will cancel the negative 1. Copy down y equals, oops, put in your calculator negative 2 divided by negative 1. So negative 2 divided by negative 1, enter, that will give me 2. Copy x. Now put in your calculator 4 divided by negative 1, 4 divided by negative 1, and I get negative 4. So just put negative 4 here. Do I need to switch? No, no. Because the x is already in the middle. El x ya está en el medio. Okay, so I'm going to put my new one here. And I will go ahead and copy that over here too. What do you see? They're the same, right? Son iguales. Let's see what happens. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Okay, so step two, I will put them equal. Voy a poner los iguales. So 2x minus 4 equals 2x minus 4. Let's see what happens. I'm going to move one of the x's. Voy a mover uno de los x. I'm going to move this one, the one on the right, que está en la derecha. This is positive. The opposite is negative. Minus 2x. Copy minus 2x. X with X, X con X. 2 minus 2, 2 menos 2 es 0, cancel. Copy down negative 4 equals 2 minus 2 cancels, it's 0. Copy down negative 4. There's no more letters, no hay más letras. So I have to stop here, necesito parar aquí. I cannot continue, no puedo continuar más. So we will just see true or false, verdad o falso. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4. Negativo 4 is igual a, neg a negativo 4. Is that true, verdad, or false? Falso. That is true. They are the same. Son iguales. So if it's true, your answer is infinitely many solutions. So what this means is that the, this line, this, these two equations are the same line. Estos dos ecuaciones son el mis, la misma línea. So basically, when you graph it, cuando hacen una gráfica, they're going to be in the same place. Es dos líneas en el mismo lugar. So two lines on top of each other. Okay? Una línea sobre una, la otra línea in the same place, en el mismo lugar. So... Every point will work. There's Well, not every point, but a lot of points will work that are on the line. There's more than one answer. Hay más que un, una respuesta. So let me go ahead and show you a few things. So if you have um, if you have a true, your graph, your graph will look like this. It will be, and I'll do it in color. Let me do it in color for you. It will be one line with another line on top, in the same place. Okay, so if it's true, it's infinitely many solutions. Let me go ahead and write that down for you. So that is infinitely many solutions. If it's false, remember it was no solution. And that means the lines never touch. Las líneas nunca tocan. They're going to be Parallel. If they don't touch, there's no solution. The touch is where the solution is. So they're going to be parallel, paralelos. If you have a point that is an answer, like in our previous video, that is one solution, you will have two lines and they will touch 
somewhere. This is where the solution is. So remember, solutions are where they touch. Soluciones están donde tocan las líneas, where they touch. So here's one, one touch, one solution. Un toca, un, una, una solución. Here, no touch, no solution. No toca, no solución. Here, there's many touches. There's many places. Hay muchas, muchos lugares, muchos lugares where they touch. Okay? Many, many, many. So that's why it's infinitely many solutions. In, infinite, muchas soluciones. Sorry about that. Not good with the Spanish there. Thank you for working with me.